So here we see healthy chick feet. Hey. Oops. <laughs> healthy feet, straight toes. Very good. Curled toes. Oops. Don't peck your friends. You see the little foot? It's curled. I gave them a day, and now I'm going to splint the feet as um, two-day-old chick. Yesterday, I just let her rest under the light, and today she's trying to get to the food and water. I'm doing a pretty decent job of it, so I feel confident that she'll make a recovery if we can straighten her toes out. Well, this is where I have little Violet in a bin on my desk with her own electrolyte water, food, and one foot splinted so far. And of course I put her back under the light whenever she gets chilled. So I take a piece of tape and I pre-cut a little piece of sturdy plastic from the lid of a takeout container. I'm going to place that in the middle of one side. See that? Oh, little one, you're making a racket. Just wait. Jeepers. Then I have a piece of just paper towel. I'm going to tear into what I need. A small piece to go next to the plastic that will be the portion that covers the top of her foot when I fold the tape over. And then I'm going to add some more to parts that I don't want to stick to her foot. So I've got the sturdy part here. <laughs> She's trying to come over. And then I'm going to place this on the part that I know will cover the back of her leg. And then I'm going to trim, or rather cut strips that make it easier to wrap it around her. And I have a squint on my thumb right now, so we'll be twins. It's okay, honey. So taking the scissors, I'm going to cut from this side into the plastic knowing that I'm going to wrap these little strips around like a band-aid. That is a loud baby. Goodness me. Flip it the other way. Same on the other side. Leaving a solid part in the middle. You don't need the extra overhang here. So these are strips that are cut. Those will wrap around the chick and then we'll trim the excess off afterward. I already did one of them and I found that it was helpful to have her in my lap. I'm going to show how to hold her as well. Take off my stint for this. Come here, little one. Come here, guy. All right, so to hold the chick over on her back, firm but gentle, and then you want to take the foot that will be splinted and hold it between two fingers. I'm using these fingers to gently hold the chick, and then I'm holding this part 
gently but firmly so she can't wiggle out of my grip. And this is where I'm going to splint. So this little tiny finger here can be left out. And these need to be splinted down flat. It's okay, little one. The only part I'm really holding firmly is right here. The rest is just stabilizing her so she can't get out of my grip. And she's not the biggest fan of this sort of process either. And again, be patient. There we go, right onto there. And flatten it out the best you can, knowing that in a couple of days you can take it off and do it again. They grow so fast that you'll see changes, hopefully, in a couple of days. Okay, so once that part is folded over, still holding firmly, it's okay, Jackie. Got that little extra toe sticking out. Then we use these pieces to wrap and hold it still and firmly like edges of a band-aid. It's okay, little noodle. And just wrap them around in whatever way works for your particular situation. There we go. What a good little chicky. And then we trim carefully. <laughs> I pinch to make sure that I know where to cut and that I'm not going to cut her toe or toenail or anything that might be sticking out. Okay. There. Now we've got two little splinted feet. All right. Good job, cutie. Let's see how you do. Oh, good. She pooped. <laughs> Normally I wouldn't be so excited about that, but I wasn't sure if she was eating and drinking well enough, and that just proves that she is, and that is a hopeful thing to see her excreting, so yay. Here, have a little water. A little water? Come on. Yay, good job.